Did it take a long time to come, though? Yeah. Right? I mean, every week it was snow. And if it wasn't snowing, it was cold. And uh, But now, you know, the snow is gone. And the cold is almost gone. Right? And we're going to go through. You'll get your report cards. I guess report cards are coming soon, right? Right? So you get that. But the good thing about getting this third report card is you know that you just got one left, right? Yeah. After that. And then it's summer vacation. So uh, we're, we're, we're going through a fun time right now. And I want to say it's good to be here uh, with the, uh, the Board of Trustees President, Nader Sage, Dr. Nader Sage, um, with our superintendent of schools, obviously uh, the boss, Dr. Y, uh, with, uh, with the president of the Yonkers Federation of Teachers and, and, and our, all of our good friend, Pat Paleo. Uh, with the deputy uh, superintendent Evans here and Christine, uh, the uh, I should say Dr. Casada and Christine Montero, and I apologize. You have a title like doctor, you should always use it. And uh, and to uh, Principal Sue Fierstein, uh, Fierce, Fierson, not Fierstein, as he someone else, uh, and uh, the assistant principal Jacobs. Uh, to the student government that met me at the door, you guys did a great job. You really did. They're Thank you. Here. Uh, to them, yeah, good. They deserve it. Today, I'm so pleased to be here uh, and, to, and to be visiting Family School 32 to present you the School of the Month Award for March. So give yourself a round of applause. School 32 is known as the family school, right? Yeah. And uh, so this school is living up to its name by truly operating like a family. And your principal, uh, Principal uh, Sue Fierson, uh, together with the faculty, the administrators, the staff, your parents, uh, your relatives, the PTAs, and the students here at School 32 promote a spirit of togetherness throughout the entire year. And you I uh, recently celebrated Family Fitness Night, and I'm sorry I missed that night because uh, I could probably use a, a little time there. But, uh, but I did. But but it's bringing together over 300 parents, students, and faculty for a night that promotes health and wellness. Uh, local businesses volunteered their services, and we were very very excited. And want to say thank you to those local. Uh, businesses that provided fitness classes and health demonstrations and this popular attended event uh, is much to the credit to the PTA especially uh, Christine Altamar. Christine? So, uh, good job. And we also want to thank the PTA for all that they do. Uh, that's very important. We know that the Earth Week is fast approaching uh, Earth Day is what day is that? You guys know? April 22nd. All right, it's my birthday too, just so you know. All right, so that's why I can never forget it. <clears throat> but the students at Family uh, School 32 have been preparing for Earth Day for several weeks now. We all know that. Uh, and in March, many of you planted seeds as part of the pre-Earth Day activity. And for weeks, you've watched them grow into plants. And today, you'll we'll all go outside and plant them in the ground. Uh, you will witness firsthand how one small little action can grow into something meaningful and beautiful, right? It's like being nice to somebody every day. Every day if you're just nice to one person and it, that grows and can become something uh, meaningful and beautiful. That's a, that's a great line, we should always remember that. Uh, so, when I, so I wanna encourage you, take that lesson and apply it in your own life. And by putting in a little extra time and effort into something that you can create. Uh, maybe it's with your schoolwork, uh, by studying 15 minutes extra, how many of you wanna do that? So a couple, 15 minutes extra, right? Um, or maybe it's with your friends and going the extra mile to do something nice for someone. Maybe it's when someone's getting bullied, it's standing up for that person and saying, no. Maybe it's looking at a person who looks different than you do, or maybe has a different faith than you have. And you know what? And be interested in what it is that's different, and learn from that, and appreciate it. And you know what? 
and love the differences of your neighbor. Uh, to the students, some of you might know uh, that our city faces challenges when it comes to providing what you need here in education, but also know that we will continue to work and negotiate and to do everything we need to do to make sure that at the end of the day, it's not something that affects each and every one of you directly. It'll be something that we can pick up the challenge and make uh, something better out of it. Um, we, we are, um, we, we know how bright you are. We know that how talented you are. And we also know how hardworking you are. And that's why you deserve our support and our efforts in trying to uh, get additional funding and additional uh, things for our schools. Uh, so uh, again, uh, I wanted to come by to say thank you, to, um, to congratulate you. I have a proclamation here, and uh, before I, I present that proclamation, I'm going to ask at least uh, the president of the, of the Board of Trustees to say a few words, uh, and, then, and then we'll, uh, we'll do the proclamation. So uh, Dr. Nader Sage. Thank you, Mayor Stano. On behalf of the Board of Education, you know, I join with the entire administration and the school district in congratulating Family School 32. This is really a truly worthy honor to be recognized by Mayor Spano as a School of the Month really shows us, not only in the school system, but the entire city of Yonkers, that Family School 32 has something special. And what is special is your mission to push family values and tradition and to work together and teamwork. This is, what, this is very successful, not only for 32, but for the entire city and the entire country. We know when children and families work together, when educators under very effective leadership, we worked with Sue Fierson for many years with her talented team, with the teachers and the CSCA, and especially the parents, having a, an active parent organization really shows us the parents care, they're concerned about their children's education, and they're pledging to work with us to make sure you work hard and you do your very best. So on behalf of the Board of Education, and especially when we come into the building and see girl power, <laughs> That is very unique. So we know the role girls and women play in the shape and family life, but this teaches us that we can play a greater role in shape and government at all levels. So PS32, congratulations, best wishes. We're proud of you. Keep up the hard work. Thank you, Mayor Stano. And before I finish, I just want you to know, as the Board of Ed President, one of the major, major fans we have on behalf of education is our mayor. And very recently, when we got the budget from the state, and it was short a lot of money, Mayor Spano made it his business to find another $2 million that he put into the budget. It was still short, but that shows his commitment. So I'd like to publicly thank him and give him a nice round of applause. And thank you, Dr. Sage, and, and to the trustees, all the trustees who work uh, very, very hard on our behalf, I want to say thank you. Uh, yeah, and I too under, understand girl power, not just because I'm married to someone smarter than I am, but and because I, uh, but because I have eight sisters, and my eight <laughs> sisters remind me every day, and either by telephone call or by text, that. Uh, girl power exists and I better respect it and I do just so you know um, with that I'm going to ask uh, the superintendent of schools Dr. Y to say a few words thank you Mr. Mayor um, I just want to emphasize what Dr. Say has said this mayor really cares about everyone not only in this room but all 27,000 students in this city we meet every Thursday. We met this morning. What do we talk about? You. And what we can do for you and how we can help you. So I also want to thank 
Mayor Spano for being a friend to the school district, a friend to me, and someone who really cares about education. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I was fortunate enough to come last Friday when you had your health and fitness fair. I was amazed. I really was amazed. The place was packed. Everyone was having a great time. But what also made me feel good is the fact that two of our high schools were here to assist. Gorton High School's medical magnet and Saunders had their cheerleading team here to show some of the things you can do to stay healthy. So it, it was nice to see that. And that's really an example of a family. When high school students give up their Friday nights to come and support one of our elementary schools. Uh, and I think that's because everyone recognizes how strong and how dedicated the PTA is here at Family School 32. Um, it's wonderful to see all the parents that were here volunteering, helping out, making sure everything was going well. It was an amazing thing to see. So I thank the PTA and all the parents who support the children, not just their own children, but all the children in the school. So thank you, PTA. I know you guys are in the middle of these state tests. First of all, don't ever let these st state tests stress you out. It's not necessary. You're better than those tests. You're stronger than those tests. I know that when I look at the results of this school, I'm going to see that played out. Just take them, do your best, and I'm sure we will come out with very positive results. But on the other hand, I want to leave you with a message that I left. There were over 300 parents last night at a meeting we had uh, to try to get help to get more money from the state. And one parent said, what can we do to help our children? I'm going to say this to the boys and girls. I'll say it to the moms and dads here. The best thing you can do every day is read. Read sometime during the course of the day. And that doesn't mean just Monday through Friday. It means seven days a week. Pick something up that you like to read. Don't have to read a textbook. Read something you like, but read. Because the way to become a better reader is by reading more. That's the only way. Don't listen to any of this other stuff. Read more. Pick up a book all the time. Find something you like. Read, read, read. And don't read books that are easy to read. Read books that are difficult, that have words you don't know, that you have to look them up. And you'll be better off, and you'll be more prepared for high school and life. Congratulations for being cho chosen School of the Month. Good luck, and keep up the good work. Thanks, Dr. Wally. And, and, and of course, representing our teachers, uh, the president of the, the, the Yonkers Federation of Teachers, Pat Paleo. I'm going to give you two, maybe three secrets that the adults know. All right. One of the best ways of dealing with stress is ice cream. <laughs> I'm telling you, one of the best ways of doing it is ice cream. Now, this is, this is a secret between the mayor and myself. We like watching Star Trek movies, and that is a big stress reliever for us. So by all means, you find what you like to do to relieve stress. And sometimes it's reading a book, and sometimes it's running around on the playground, and sometimes it is whatever works for you with ice cream. <laughs> and the third thing I'm going to say, and I'm, I'm serious about this, I, I noticed that in your mission statement, you know, that we all work on being lifelong learners. Earth Day is coming, and the message of Earth Day is that we need to take care of the Earth. You are what we need to take care of the Earth for. Your parents come to school to help the school out because of you. We want the Earth to be a good, clean, strong planet because of you. So you are our best stress relievers, and we love you all. Take care. That couldn't have been said any better. We really are very special here in Yonkers. How many of you are proud to live in Yonkers? Right? Give yourself a round of applause. You know why? You live in a great city. There's lots of great things happening here in Yonkers all the time. 
And at the same time, you're in a great school, School 32 Family School. You have parents and family members and relatives who care about you. You have teachers who are some of the best teachers, not just in New York, in all of America, in all of America. So remember, when you leave this place, you're leaving, you're getting an opportunity to get a great education. And it's up to you, though, to take advantage of that opportunity. It's up to you to do that, and I know you are, judging by today's award. Um, note one thing, there are 41 schools in Yonkers. Not everyone gets this award. There are only about 10 months of the school year. So there are, not everyone gets this award. Very few schools get it, and it's for those who have reached heights, and it's for those schools that we want to show and put a light on you because you know why? We want other schools to follow your lead, and follow your example. So as your mayor, I get the opportunity to do something that's very cool. Um, and one of the things I get to do uh, as your mayor, and it's in the city's uh, law book, right, that says that the mayor can declare a day, right? Other people come in and say they're declaring days, but they can't. I can. I can. And, and I have a, we have a book at City Hall, and there's an archive. And all the days that have been recognized, going back as far as we can go, are archived and there for, for those of you, if you want to go see and take a look 30 years from now. So who was uh, recognized on, uh, on, on April the, uh, the 16th in the year 2015? And when they go back to that book, they're going to see that Family School 32 Day is what we celebrated here in the city of Yonkers. So congratulations. <laughs> With that, I'm going to ask your principal to come up and say a few words. Thank you. Well, this is truly a wonderful honor. So Mayor Spano, President Sage, thank you. Uh, Superintendent Uzurlo, Assistant Superintendent Casada, Assistant Superintendent Montero. On behalf of our School 32 family, I want to thank you for this wonderful recognition. We are truly honored. Our vision is to have a school where our students' voices are heard, their talents, strengths, and achievements are highlighted. Our vision is to inspire in each of our students a curiosity for learning, respect for one another, and a commitment to enhancing the environment. All, these take, all this takes work and a commitment from the city of Yonkers and the community, the school district, parents, our wonderful PTA, our fabulous teachers, staff, and administrators to help our students reach their true potential. Today, you will see some of the beautiful artwork that our students created with our art teacher, Miss Just. Miss Roberts, fifth grade class, will recite our mission statement and sing a song under the direction of our music teacher, Miss Agronoff. Our sixth grade students will share a brief history of Earth Day, and our third grade students will share haiku poetry. There will be a group of students planting flowers in front of our school to beautify our building, and our student government is on hand for a guided tour. And now it is my great pleasure to invite Miss Roberts' class to recite the Family School Mission Statement. So come on up. Family School 32 Mission Statement. The mission of Family School 32 is to educate all of our students in a rich and rigorous learning environment. Our goal is for all students to become lifelong learners and reach their academic, social, and emotional potential. In the spirit of cooperation between parents, 
she gives me everything that I ever need. Food on the table and clothes I wear. Mother Earth is, gives me the sun, the water, and the cool fresh air. The Earth is my mother and my best friend too. The great provider for me and you. The ways are gentle, her life is hard. We love you, Lord.